Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my Alsace wine journey. And today we're discovering the wines of Domaine Slumberger. Uh, and this is from the Vinda Alsace Tasting. This is the Millisem uh, Alsace Digital Tasting 2021. So let's discover something about this uh, winery. So Domaine Slumberger has been uh, around since 1810. They are now run by Thomas and Severine Slumberger, who are the seventh generation wine growers. They are in the south of Alsace in Gavrile or Gavriller. Um, it's a 130 hectare estate, so a, quite a big vineyard or winery, of which 70 hectares are in four classified Grand Cru's, which are um, Cotero, Kessler, Saring, and Spaling. Um, they are high environmental value, uh, so that means they are very um, sensitive to the impacts to those to the whole environment, not only the vineyard. Um, they have two horses that they plow or work through the soils to get less impact on the soil. So they are very traditional. They have um, they ferment for six to twelve weeks in one hundred year old casks, or actually one hundred twenty year old. Uh, oak casks so that there's not a lot of oak it's imparted in the wine then they um, then transport that into tr uh, stainless steel vats for 12 to 18 months um, they also make sure that their grapes are transported from um, the vin the actual vineyard to their cellars within two hours so it's really fresh so it's a very traditional uh, clean and environmentally friendly winery um, very large estate and uh, kind of one of the leaders in Alsace. The first wine we're going to taste is their uh, 2017 Riesling from the Grand Cru vineyard of Saring. So um, this is north of Gabriela, um, altitude about 260 to 300 feet. Um, the terroir is marl, limestone and sandstone and uh, it's supposed to be very conducive to um, the production of Riesling. One of the things I want to mention is that um, this winery, Domaine Schlumberger, has one of the best websites of any Alsace winery. Very detailed in terms of um, explanation. Each wine, they have a lot of information on. The, the pictures are beautiful, so go check out their website. Um, the next one I'm going to taste would be the um, another Riesling from 2017 Vintage from the Grand Cru uh, Vineyard of Catal. So it would be neat to kind of taste that against the previous um, Riesling from another Grand Cru plot. So Catal is um, volcanic sandstone plot. Um, it's got light sandy soil, so it does um, have um, stone walls to keep these soils in place, and they have um, two masons on site that keep the walls repaired and also build new walls. Um, very in touch with environmental concerns and keeping everything um, in balance for not only the vineyard, but the whole environment, the water, the trees, the animals, etc. The next wine is going to be interesting. It's an older vintage. It's a 2012 Gewurztraminer from Catal. Um, and just, I'm very interested to see how um, the age will affect this wine. And most Re Als Alsace Riesling Gewurz um, have a lot of um, longevity. And so um, they can keep for extended time periods, 15, 20 years easily. And the last wine we're going to taste is their Pinot Noir AOC. So this is from their Prince de Ave certainly Prince Abbey's um, series, which is kind of their entry level series. It comes um, in this situation, it comes 80% from Bollenberg plot and 20% from Siring plot. So it can come from, it's not from ex one, um, one vineyard, but uh, a blend of different grapes from different vineyards. Let's get to the tasting of wines. So the first wine we're going to try is going to be their, um, Riesling 2017 from the Grand Cru Vineyard of Cattell. Let's try 
this out. On the smell, it's um, compared to the other Rieslings I've um, tasted and sm or smelled it um, from Alsace, it's not as um, acidic. It's not as tangy. It's more um, like white flowers. It's more, it's got some minerality, but not as, I would say, acidic or tangy on the, um, and the floor, it's not like a, a fragrant floral. It's more like, um, like almost like lilies, white, white lilies, that type of, or white flowers, like acacia, that type of flower. Very dry, um, not acidic. I would say it's medium body or a little bit lighter than some of the other wines in terms of the body of it. And the city is coming around now at the aftertaste. Um, you, at the aftertaste, so the beginning is fairly bland, and more like pear, um, tropical, light tropical fruits. At the end, more citrusy elements to this. Um, I think it's a good uh, reasoning. And so I would give this, um, I'm going to give this 88 points. Now we're going to go to the Riesling from another Grand Cru. This is a 2017 and this is from Sering. Again, the nose is not um, as compared to the other wines that I've had from this uh, um, Alsace tasting, not as acidic and not as um, citrusy. This note is um, light. Um, I would say like a little bit of lemon, a little bit of orange, but very light and maybe some uh, flowers again some white flowers it's very light in terms of the aroma um various to me it's quite similar to the last one the um, catella uh, grand crew except that on the finish a little bit more minerality and um like stoniness to it um, and a little bit longer aftertaste. So I'm going to give this one 89 points. Now I'm going to go to their um, Gewürztraminer. And this one is a, got a little bit of age on it. It's their 2012 Gewürztraminer from uh, Cattero. Again, another Grand Cru um, location. This one's got a little bit more um, nice Gewürztraminer smells, lychee, uh, honey, apricots, a little bit of spice, uh, very, very consistent with Gewürztraminer, nice, uh, a little bit more intensity than the Rieslings. Color is um, kind of a golden uh, yellow, so I like that. Good intensity of flavor. I like the intensity of flavor here. It's light. Um, so the front part is lychee nut, um, kind of tropical, almost like guava, um, star fruit, that type of very light but pleasant, uh, maybe pears. And then the aftertaste comes around with this uh, citrus elements. Uh, lemon, um, grapefruit. Um, I like it. It's a nice, I like Gewurz Chashi. I like the style of Gewurz from Alsace. I love the smell of this. I'm going to give this 90 points. And then the last wine we're going to taste 
is going to be the Pinot Noir. And this is, uh, of course, Pinot Noir is not going to be Grand Cru there. I don't believe there's any Grand Cru in in, um, in uh, Alsace for Pinot Noir. I'll have that, confirm that in my notes. But um, this is from the Prince Ab the selection. Good nose, intensity of nose. It's um, like plums, blackberries. Very consistent with the nose of other Pinots from Alsace. I'm beginning to um, see that nose. It got a little bit of spice on this. It's funny because when I first tasted this, when I first opened it, it had a little bit of bubble gum, almost like a Swedish berries aroma. And now that's gone and that's now replaced with uh, you know, plums and uh, black plums and you know, blackberries. Good intensity of flavor, moderate tannins, moderate acidity. Um, quite easy on the finish. Um, it's got a little spiciness, like a pepperiness on this finish. Uh, it's growing on me. Um, the first taste I had of it was uh, before I filmed was a little bit more astringent. Now that's actually it's getting a bit fuller. It's growing on me. Um, it's not bad. I, I like it. Um, I'm going to give it 87 points. And all these wines I'm really happy to taste. My final thoughts. Um, this is the first time I've had wines from Domaine Slamberger. Um, I enjoyed their wines. Uh, I, the best wine for me was the Gewurztraminer. I really enjoyed um, that and tasting it older Gewurz. Um, they're all good quality wines. So uh, it was a good experience for me. Until next time, happy drinking.